I'm Kimberly Kay with your entertainment report from MidHudsonNews.com and I'm laughing because there's a lot of panting going on in the background and it's two dogs. One that I have to pet consistently throughout the entire video and there's even a cat and there's a sump pump going because it's pouring. It's a wonderful night in the TV studio. Well, we do have some sad news, though. Robin Gibb of the Bee Gees has died after a battle with cancer and intestinal problems, and he was just 62. Although many people associate Barry Gibb as the lead singer, Robin sang lead on the early hits or was the counterpoint to Barry's voice. Robin sang lead on the verses on How Can You Mend a Broken Heart, a song he and Barry wrote after they reconciled following Robin's departure from the group in 1969, in part because they argued over who should sing the lead. He also sang lead on I've Gotta Get a Message to You and I Started a Joke. Gibbs' final project was the Titanic Requiem, a classical work that premiered in London in April to mark the 100th anniversary of the sinking of the Titanic. Well, it was a very emotional last Saturday Night Live for Kristen Wiig. In the show's final sketch, guest host Mick Jagger played the principal at a high school graduation. He saluted Wig in cap and gown as one particular student leaving this summer. She then danced with Jagger. Fellow cast members and executive producer Lauren Michaels to the tune of the Rolling Stones classic, She's a Rainbow. The ensemble sang another Stones hit Ruby Tuesday with its line, Still, I'm Gonna Miss You. NBC made no prior announcement, but Wig's exit comes as no surprise. She starred in and co-wrote Bridesmaids and has six more films and some sort of development. Well, Arsenio Hall has high hopes, says the new Celebrity Apprentice. He wants to use the exposure to land another late-night talk show. During the season finale, came down to Hall and former American Idol runner-up Clay Aiken. Donald Trump gave the edge to Hall, but says he's never been so torn in choosing a winner. Hall was playing for the Magic Johnson Foundation to fight AIDS. As the winner, Hall's charity of choice gets $250,000 in addition to the money Hall's team raised during the season. Well, the star of Swamp People died of natural causes. The coroner determined that after a preliminary autopsy on Mitchell Gist, he died after collapsing while working on a houseboat that he was building. Well, in local entertainment news, Theater Sounds invites you to join them for an exciting reading of the late Lanford Wilson's powerful play from the 1960s called Redwood Curtain. The night is Saturday, May 26, 8 p.m. at the Unitarian Universalist Congregation of the Catskills. That's at 320 Sauk Hill Road in Kingston, and it is free. That's your latest entertainment report for a new update daily. Log on to MidHudsonNews.com. I'm Kimberly Kay.